I've been running this online community since 2013. And now in 2021, I notice a lot of people trying to build online communities, trying to build online membership programs. This includes big sites like Indie Hackers, but also journalists like Casey Newton, who are linking together Substack and having Discord chats for members. There's also bundles of email newsletters like Every, who are trying to create community. Journalists like Josh, who are linking together email and live chat and podcasters who are using platforms like Patreon to try to earn revenue for their show, but also create some sort of meaningful interaction with the folks who listen. Having done this for a long time, I noticed there are some holes, some gaps in creating online communities. Number one, they require a lot of tools. Uh, these are some of the tools I've had to use in the past for my community. You know, you need something for online registration, you need something for payments, you need something for email newsletter and to sell welcome sequences, you need something for your website like WordPress or Ghost, and you also need a way of displaying membership information. In all of this, I keep noticing these pain points. Here's an example. You know, we want a list of all of people's Twitter handles. And the only way to do that is to kind of keep it in this forum thread. Or we want to keep up to date on everybody's projects. Where can I see what people are working on? And we have this Google Sheet that we all just use together. Every once in a while, somebody new joins. And instead of us just having a place they can go and see, you know, everybody's profile, we have to reintroduce ourselves in Slack. The solution to this is a new community membership directory platform I'm building with Josh Anderton. Uh, actually, I'm primarily an investor on this project and Josh is the builder. And I want to show it to you. So let's start with the homepage. This is what it looks like. Already we've replaced WordPress or Ghost or whatever you're using for your website. We have social proof built in, profile photos of the members plus how many members we have existing. Nice homepage that describes the benefits, what they'll receive when they join. The ability to join and pay. So you link this up to your Stripe account and now you can start earning revenue from your community, your subscribers, your newsletter and a public members directory. So for members who opt in, they can display their profile publicly on the community website. And then you can search for members based on their skill set, job title, or country. So if I was looking for somebody who's good at marketing, I can filter by marketing and see all the marketing folks. I can visit individual profiles like this I can, again, browse by tag, see all the designers. So this gives visitors to the community site some benefits, but it also gives members a giant perk because now they're in this online directory, this searchable online directory where they can promote themselves. They can even use this link as their personal profile URL on Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn. It's just a really nice way to display who you are. And we're actually working on expanding this even more, allowing people to add videos, embed podcasts, embed their projects and photos, uh, embed their store items for e-commerce. So this will become a really valuable piece of real estate for members. Once you log in as a member, you get this screen here. I have all of our member benefits listed. Uh, we have Slack forums and member directory, but I can also list them up here, Slack and our forums here. I also get this publication tab, which is where we'll be sharing member only newsletters and posts. So when they log in, they get access to this exclusive content similar to Substack or Ghost. 
I can view my profile and edit my profile. And this includes, like I said, the ability to show my profile publicly only to members or keep it private. I can add new skill tags if I'd like. This solves all of those problems we talked about before about, you know, what's everybody working on? What's the list of folks? I can see all of that automatically every time somebody joins. I get all that information right here and I can catch up on who people are and what they're doing. If you look at the admin side of Meeps, you get a list of all your members, the ability to create membership plans, including lifetime membership plans, so pay once for lifetime access. Like I said, the ability to post articles and private newsletters for your community. The ability to create welcome sequences for onboarding. So as soon as people register, they get an email explaining what the community is about and how they can be a part of it giving them prompts to join, in our case, different Slack channels. And really bringing together whatever else you're using in your community. So if you're using Slack, you can link to your Slack invite link. If you're using forum software, you can use that. If you're using Discord, you can link to that. You can also invite team members, if you have multiple team members, edit that marketing page, like I said, and the members only page. So it's all right here. And the idea is to bring together all of these different pieces that you would normally be have to pay, you know, multiple times for all in one place and augment what you're doing. If you also have, uh, you know, a discord chat or a Slack chat, well, now you can link to that. You can bring everything together, create a unified experience for members, subscribers, community members. And we think this is going to be really helpful for folks who are building any sort of online directory like Chambers of Commerce. Now you can have chamber members register, fill out their profile, and get that online profile that a lot of them are really kind of paying for. That's why you're a member of the chamber or the rotary or the local business association, often it's for networking to get your membership profile up on the website. But I think it'll also be good for folks who are blogging or podcasting and want to augment what they're doing, create community around what they're doing. There's so many applications for this that we haven't even thought of. You could create a community around your software product and allow your customers to interact with each other and see each other's profiles. So we're really excited about this. You can find out more information by going to meeps.app and signing up for the waiting list. And we'll have more information coming soon.